Shrimp are a type of marine crustacean found worldwide, and they play a significant role in many cultures' diets. Shrimp inhabit all oceans, both in shallow and deep water, as well as freshwater lakes and streams, their diet mostly consists of small plants and animals, although some shrimp feed on carrion. In this video, we will explore the differences in how cold water and farmed shrimp are caught and processed. The cold water shrimp is an iconic shellfish that has earned its status due to its versatility. Shrimp have a firm and succulent meat that can be cooked in many different ways. The cold water shrimp is caught in the North Atlantic and Arctic Ocean, which makes the shrimp grow slowly and provides plenty of time to develop its delicate taste and texture. The lifespan is around 9 years, and the shrimp is typically caught when it is 6 years old. At that time, the shrimp is between 8 and 10 centimeters. Farmed hot water shrimps are contrary full-grown after only 6 months, the shrimp has a red, almost transparent shell with red antennas on the head. The head may sometimes appear slightly dark. The reason for the dark color may be many, but the color can be affected by the shrimp's nourishment, or it may be in the midst of developing eggs for spawning. The dark color does not affect the taste or texture of the shrimp, the cold water shrimp lives near the seabed and prefer a water temperature between 0 and 8 degrees. It is mainly derived from plankton, krill and microworms. It is born like a male, but becomes a female after 3 to 4 years, thus the cold water shrimp is a hermaphrodite. During the spawning in the spring, the eggs are fertilized and the male carries the eggs. After the outbreak, the shrimp loses its shell and begins to develop a new and larger shell, catching cold water shrimp in the ocean involves several steps, and the process can vary depending on the fishing method and location. Loca Commercial shrimp vessels are equipped with specialized gear for catching shrimp. This includes trawl nets, winches, and sorting equipment. Fishermen use various tools, including sonar and satellite technology, to locate areas with a high concentration of shrimp. Cold water shrimp are often found in deep, cold waters. Once a suitable location is identified, the vessel deploys trawl nets into the water. These nets are typically cone-shaped and designed to capture shrimp effectively. The vessel moves through the water, dragging the trawl nets behind it. The nets have mesh openings that allow smaller organisms to escape while capturing shrimp. After a set period of trawling, the nets are hauled back onto the vessel using winches. This is a crucial step, as it brings the catch on board for further processing. As the shrimp are brought on board, they are first sorted and graded. This involves separating different sizes of shrimp and removing any bycatch or non-target species. Non-shrimp species and other bycatch are carefully removed from the catch to ensure that only the desired shrimp are processed. The heads of the shrimp are typically removed, and they are deveined. This process can be done manually or using specialized equipment on the boat. The shrimp are washed to remove any debris, seawater, or other contaminants. Clean water is often used for this purpose, to preserve the quality of the shrimp. They are immediately chilled or frozen. Onboard freezing equipment may be used to rapidly freeze the shrimp. The processed shrimp are packed into suitable containers, often in boxes or bags, and stored in onboard freezers or refrigerated holds. Proper packaging is crucial for maintaining the quality of the shrimp during transportation. Quality control measures are implemented throughout the processing steps to ensure that the shrimp meet industry standards. This includes checks for size, weight, color, and overall freshness. Fishing vessels often maintain records of their catch, processing methods, and any other relevant information. This helps in traceability and ensures compliance with regulations. Once the shrimp are processed and properly stored, the fishing vessel may return to shore to offload the catch. The processed shrimp can then be transported to markets or processing facilities. Sh
overall product quality, packed shrimp products. Implement temperature controlled zones for different processing stages. 6. Quality control systems. Integrate quality control checkpoints at various stages of processing to ensure adherence to standards. Implement testing procedures for microbiological and chemical parameters. 7. Traceability systems. Develop and implement traceability systems to track the origin and processing history of each batch of shrimp. This is crucial for quality assurance and regulatory compliance. 8. Employee facilities. Provide facilities for employee hygiene, including changing rooms, washrooms, and break areas. Implement safety training programs for all employees. 9. Sustainability measures. Incorporate environmentally sustainable practices, such as efficient water usage, waste management, and energy-saving technologies. Consider certification programs for sustainable seafood processing. 10. Technology integration. Utilize automation and technology for efficiency, accuracy, and data management. Implement data analytics to monitor and optimize processing parameters. 11. Emergency preparedness. Develop and implement emergency response plans for potential issues such as power outages, equipment failures, or natural disasters. Install safety equipment and conduct regular drills. 12. Community engagement. Engage with the local community and address concerns or considerations related to the facility's presence. Contribute to the local economy through employment opportunities. 13. Budgeting and financial planning. Develop a comprehensive budget that includes construction costs, equipment expenses, operating costs, and potential contingencies. Plan for ongoing operational expenses and allocate funds for regular maintenance. 14. Market research. Conduct thorough market research to understand the demand for shrimp products, both domestically and internationally. Tailor the processing capacity to meet market requirements. 15. Risk management. Identify potential risks associated with shrimp processing, including market fluctuations, disease outbreaks, or supply chain disruptions. Develop risk mitigation strategies to address these challenges.